This is the introduction to the Sun and SH4000 horizontal honing machine. Let's begin by pointing out the coolant cart connections. First, remove the coolant cart by pulling on the two handles on the front of the cart. In the coolant cart are the following. Oil pressure gauge and air vent, sediment tray, airline connections, oil line connection, and last, the electrical connection. After turning the power on, select the setup tab on the screen and enter your user ID and password, then select OK. You may now continue with your setup. Place the honing stone in the mandrel slot and push lightly against the stone retainer until the stone completely enters the mandrel slot. Turn the key switch on the control console to the left for setup. Install the honing unit into the spindle of the machine by pulling the wedge hook so that it extends beyond the end of the adapter as far as possible. Push the honing unit into the spindle until it bottoms out and turn it 90 degrees. Make sure to tighten the 6 mm set screw locking the honing unit into the spindle. On the right side of the control console, select the arrow key. Then select Feed from the menu. On the bottom of the screen, select More Buttons. Then select Full Retract. Place the alignment bushing on the center of the honing stone. On the screen, select the mandrel type, set the appropriate pressure, select less buttons on the screen, select full expand. Place the run out indicator onto the alignment bushing. Make sure the locking lever on the indicator is in the release position. Adjust the A pin on the run out indicator until you get a needle reading. Rotate the spindle nose and adjust the A, B, and C screws until the needle reads one thousandths or one increment of movement. Pull the locking lever on the run out indicator to the lock position and unscrew the A pin three to four turns. Rotate the spindle nose and adjust the numbered screws on the spindle nose until the needle on the run out indicator reads one thousandths or one increment of movement. Run out adjustment is now complete. Remove the run out indicator from the machine, select retract on the control console and remove the alignment bushing. On the control panel, select Run. Select Run again. This will access the manual honing screen and turn off the power stroke feature of the SH4000. Set the recommended RPM for the diameter being honed. Place a truing sleeve on the mandrel and stone. Depress the foot pedal slowly to the floor which starts the spindle and stone expansion. True the mandrel and stone. Release the foot pedal to stop the spindle and retract the stone when truing is complete. Select Setup. Stroker Setup screen will be displayed. Use the joystick to move the stroker arm so that it is slightly behind the honing stone. Place the workpiece to be honed on the mandolin stone. Adjust the back stroker fingers so that they touch the face of the workpiece but do not protrude into the workpiece bore. Move the universal fixture so that the front stroking fingers lightly touch the face of the workpiece. Back off the fingers from the workpiece to allow it to float freely while honing. Tighten the lock nuts on the bottom of the fixture to prevent them from moving. Adjust the fixture clamps to prevent the universal fixture from shifting when honing. Remove the workpiece from the mandrel and close the fixture fingers. Use the joystick to move the stroker mechanism towards the operator until the front fingers clear the front of the honing stone by one-third to one-half of the workpiece length. Select front of stroke on the screen. Use the joystick until the back stroking fingers clear the back of the part by one-third to one-half of the workpiece length. Select back of stroke. Caution. 
If the workpiece is blind hold, place the workpiece on the mandrel and move the stroker just until the mandrel touches the bottom of the workpiece. Stroke position is now set. Select arrow key on the right of the screen. Select run parameters. Enter the recommended RPM and stroke speed. Use the question mark icon on the left of the screen to display RPM and stroke speed recommendations. Edit feed force if necessary. Use the question mark icon on the left of the screen for feed force guidance. Select the arrow key on the right of the screen. Select feed from the menu. Measure an unhoned workpiece on the gauge and note the amount of undersize. Place the unhoned workpiece on the mandrel. Select full expand on the screen. Select center scale on the screen. Use the bore adjustment tabs on the screen to increase or decrease machine indicator reading to match the actual amount of undersize measured on the gauge. Select retract. The initial diameter or snugging is now set. Select run. Select more buttons. Select coolant on. Adjust the position of the coolant lines and the flow of the honing fluid onto the mandrel and workpiece. Then turn coolant off and select less buttons. Turn the key switch to the right. The green ready to hone indicator light must be illuminated in order to hone. If not, check the light curtains and safety guards are properly aligned and functioning. Press the green cycle start button to start the honing cycle. When the honing cycle finishes, remove the workpiece and measure the bore diameter of the workpiece. Use the bore adjustment and position adjustment tabs on the screen to correct size and taper conditions of the bore. This concludes the basic setup and operation of the Sunnen SH4000 horizontal honing machine. If you have any questions, refer to the operating instructions included with your machine.